What a beautiful day to be out here in New Mexico's outdoors. I'm here in the Cibola National Forest. I'm coming up to the Red Canyon Campground. So let's go have a look in here, show you guys what the campground actually looks like. So yeah, Red Canyon Campground, Cibola National Forest. You are entering a fee area. So $7 per campsite. You are in cougar country, bear country. Of course, uh, be a responsible person. Don't discharge firearms in the campground. And in case you're wondering here, uh, trailer limit at this uh, area is 22 feet. So there you go, guys. If you're looking for a campground, Red Canyon Campground, Central New Mexico, and the Cibola National Forest. So over this way you have RV sites and every campsite here has a cement picnic bench. They have built-in um, grills. They got some hiking trails in and around here. Yeah, really nice area if you're looking for a place to do some camping uh, via tent or RV. These right here are actually uh, bear trash cans, so you, know, you can store your trash in there and bears will not access it. So yeah, this is a smaller campground, but beautiful nonetheless. Yeah, not a bad area, that's for sure. So there you go guys, a little uh, tour through Red Canyon Campground. Not a campground camping fan. Uh, rather get out here and, and do my own primitive thing. You know, I, I think campgrounds, in my opinion, are a little bit noisy, uh, much noisier than I would like. You know, being out there uh, in your own developed site, you're just away from everybody. It's quiet. You have a better chance of seeing wildlife. And what could go wrong with that? You know, you hear the birds chirping. You hear the ambience of, you know, the leaves and just uh, a better feeling out there. That's for sure. But uh, let's cut off here. Let's get on to uh, some trails here. So let's get off the main uh drag up here yeah what a great trail man off to the side here got a nice sizable canyon I'm assuming this is Red Canyon just because right where we turn to get on this trail is right at Red Canyon Campground. But this is a nice trail. It doesn't disappoint, that's for sure. There's a nice herd of deer. One, two, oh, nice. There goes two bucks. Woo, that's a beauty. That was a six pointer. Incredible. Nice little herd of deer. Can't go wrong with that. We are starting to make it pretty far into the backwoods now. Got a beautiful canyon that I continue to ride along and it's just spectacular. Love this kind of mountain scenery. 
Got ponderosa pines and oak trees. Can't go wrong with that. It's just absolutely stunning to ride in a beautiful setting like this. Yeah, I just want to say thank you guys. Manzano Man Adventure hit 2,000 subscribers just earlier this week and I am really, really thankful. Couldn't do it without your uh, support. And so, yeah, hats off to you guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys rock as fans. That is so cool, seriously guys, I appreciate it. Woo, that was a gnarly little steep spot that was rocky. Good thing is I didn't hit no bottom on that one, man. Oh guys, that was pretty awesome. I was in the process of picking up my camera and I ran into somebody out here ATV riding with his boys. I think that's so cool that he takes his kids out here, goes and explores and you know, no better way to spend time with your kids other than get them into the outdoors and going on a cruise on an ATV, especially on beautiful trails like this one, man. Yeah, so that's awesome. Yeah, we talked a little bit, said he saw uh, about three turkey just a little bit before he made it up to me. And of course, everything's all about timing, so I didn't get a chance to see uh, the wild turkey that he saw. Said they were three hens. And we also talked about uh, some bucks that we did see, which was pretty cool. Did see those. There's a, about a six pointer, and he said the other one was a five. Really wasn't sure what the other one was, but. Yeah, that's awesome nonetheless, man. Great show to see some wildlife on for sure. Mosquitoes are a little pain this evening. They're not bad enough that I need to put on some off, but they're still there nonetheless. Yeah, that's a good looking steak right there. Yep, that's really good. Dinner to me is just, you know, something that's just special to have in the outdoors, especially, you know, cooking on a, on a campfire and, you know, being out here solo, you're able to really digest thoughts in a whole different way than being with somebody, you know. Camping with folks is great, don't get me wrong, but when you're out here in your own element and you're, you're by yourself, it's just time travels in a different speed you know everything just happens in 
your own time. You know, you're not pushed up against time with other folks, you know, who may be pushing you a little to, to get going wherever you may be going. You know, you, you really have a chance to take it at your own pace and, you know, you're able to uh, enjoy it. So, man, this steak is good. I'm going to finish up dinner and just kick back and enjoy this fire. Mmm. Man, that's a good potato salad. That is outstanding. So it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. I have a tarp with my tent underneath it. I didn't set up the rain fly. Reason being is I like to sleep. Uh, having a nice little view of the campfire here uh, that's not no more than 15 feet away but what I went ahead and did is if it does start to pick up rain is I dug out a little trench right here it's going to run right by the side of the tent and hopefully kick off this direction so just avoiding the tent altogether. what an awesome evening guys had a little bit of a lightning show as well as a thunder show it's pretty cool just to hear all the thunder and the lightning just shooting off to the north of me but it looks like i'm going to be okay tonight doesn't look like any rain is going to hit this vicinity but if i was just about a mile north man they're getting rocked over there so kind of weird the way storms uh form and where they decide to hit but i'm gonna head to bed it's been an awesome evening enjoyed myself here at the campfire so good night guys i'll see you in the morning Right, guys it's about 3 30 in the morning woke up to uh, a lot of lightning thunder started to rain uh, lightly to kind of moderate so I decided to go ahead and put on the rain fly just to be on the safe side thankfully because I had the tarp up uh, I was just getting that sideways wind type rain so yeah I'm gonna go back to bed and uh, just see if I can sleep through all this thunder man all right, good night, guys. Morning guys what a rough night about three o'clock a storm blew in and it was loaded with thunder lightning and it started to rain for about 30 minutes really really hard and the tarp that I had laid over the tent was doing good until that wind picked up and once that wind came in man the rain started to actually get inside the tents what an eventful night but it was awesome you know to have that storm come in it, and the thunder was just absolutely insane it would rumble and just carry through all the uh, different canyons and you know the the whole mountain range out here so that was really really cool to uh hear but yeah i got some water on to boil really looking forward to that caffeine after uh having an interrupted sleep and 
took a while to go back to bed afterwards, but yeah, this coffee, uh, caffeine, yeah, it's going to get the morning going and beautiful. It's overcast right now. I know rain is forecasted later today. Uh, don't know if it's going to happen while I'm up here, but yeah, either way, New Mexico gets the rain in the afternoon. Rarely rains through the night, so to have that happen was really, really cool. You know, we typically, typically get our rain, um, later afternoon after the heat of the day and things like that that's just the way it rolls during monsoon season yeah it doesn't take long to brew some coffee with this little cone it's awesome so easy to use easy to clean pack Good stuff, man. Cheers. Some caffeine, finally. Time to eat up a little breakfast. Made some uh, sausage sliders. Right, guys camp is all broke down everything is loaded and cleaned up everything walked around didn't see any other trash out here it looks like a pretty unsoiled area uh, from what I could tell nobody even camps close to this spot so yeah good stuff out here man let's uh let's roll out of here man we're we're squared away so let's do it yeah what a beautiful morning man nice and fresh feels good to just be out cruising on this trail yeah upcoming plans for uh, future videos you know I've hit a lot of the Cibola National Forest it's such a big uh, forest area that there's so much to see and still to do just within this uh, range so a lot of my videos are focused in and around Cibola there's well more than uh, a million acres to, to explore so that's a lot of trails within just that uh, national forest oh there's something running what the heck was that huh who knows but that was awesome saw something Yeah, but as I was saying, you know, I've covered Cibola, I've touched Santa Fe, but there's still the Gila, there's still uh, Carson, Lincoln. I just need to get out there and go explore, man. But it's just so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, guys, I'm headed out. Yeah, I just want to say thank you for hanging out with the Monzano Man Adventure YouTube channel. My name's Ruben. If you guys are watching this for the first time, you know, it's, it's awesome to always have you guys a part of the channel. Until the next one, guys, you guys take care of yourselves. I'm out. <laughs>